know what? I feel bad because I can't be with you kids through the Hammond Academy. But I'm hearing so many good things about what you're doing there. I think it's great that you're involved in kickboxing, karate, and all kinds of sports. But the big thing is you kids all are A students. You're not neglecting your going to school because there's no room for dummies in this world. Now, I want to congratulate Doug Pandarvis and Hammond for what he's doing for these youngsters. You know, because your area has some great fighters come out of there, by the way. Rocky Marciano, Marvin Hagler, Willie Pep, Pazienza. I can go on and on. And uh, if I left a couple of these out, I apologize. But congratulations to the Hammond Academy. I'm sorry I can't be with you. Determination, will, all that you need to martial arts. The city showed the appreciation of his qualities at Needs Academies grand opening. Uh, Needs Academy, which is a great uh, community partner with us here in Brockton. Now he's opening a new store here at the Westgate Mall, which is a, uh, it's a great thing for the city, and we're really happy to do that. And soon we want to come here and help to make it a great kickoff. Um, you know, he's very active in uh, Brockton After Dark and a lot of the city programs that we do for kids. And, his own program he runs here at the school. Uh, he does an incredible job for the kids. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon over here at the Westgate Mall in Brockton to celebrate Mead's Academy. Uh, Mead is a fantastic individual with, with a, lot of, uh, a lot of lofty aspirations for the community. You can see a lot of kids out here. This is really what it's about. He's got a fantastic facility where he trains and instills discipline in these young children in Brockton and the surrounding communities. And, uh, you know, obviously here with this large facility, Kind of the castle on the hill, like we like to call it. Uh, it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic thing moving forward for the city. Body Santa, you gotta learn to earn through the discipline of martial arts. Bring them up out there. We form and we're teaching them, we're coaching them to be men and women. That's our mission in this, in this facility. We've been doing it for years, working here for years. And God, God, God bless you all. Thank you. bigger if you can find in a smaller space once you've outgrown it so you gotta move along. So what we did is we leased a space that's a little bit bigger than what we needed to figure out the role is. Yeah, he does the whole package. It's not just about teaching and sending home. You know, he works with the kids all the time. He's very involved in the community. He watches out for his students and uh, he works closely with us too for giving us information on what kind of programs we should do and different things we can do. So we're extremely happy for him and uh, we're excited to be here today because uh, you know it's another like I said it's a uh, not only is it a great organization, but then to be able to bring him here to Westgate Mall is another great uh, asset for the city. So we're really happy, really happy. Well, it's putting another dream because what happens is when a person has a dream, you know what I'm sometimes dreams are just words. But when you actually put words into action, that's what makes it so, so much better. Just like I've always dreamed, I've always endured of having a program like this, somewhere where you're making a big change in people's lives. Sometimes you're doing things, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to get paid for it, you're not going to get rewarded. The reward is that you're doing something positive. You can never doubt yourself when you're doing something positive. And that's what it's all about. Well, you got to give me a lot of credit. You know, that's how a lot of small businesses started. And, and in somebody's backyard, somebody's uh, home or whatever, it was meant to meet in the basement. And I, I think you got to stick to your dreams and keep driving at those. Um, a lot of people get discouraged because a lot of businesses do fail in the first or second tries. But our most successful people, uh, like Donald Trump, for instance, has failed many times, but he's turned the thing around and he's, and he's you know, done very well and become very successful. In life, he can never give up. And that's a message to the young children out there. You know, I, I grew up right up the street from here in Brockton. I had uh, two hard-working family, family, parents, and everything else. And uh, I'm very honored. My parents were always there for me. But we weren't wealthy. We were a, a, a poor uh, family growing up right up the street. We, my parents never had the opportunity to own their own home. But it was a great neighborhood I grew up in. I'm the corner of Pleasant and I still live in the neighborhood. I'm on Ellisfee now. I bought a home. But you got to keep working to uh, strive for your dreams. And eventually, if you keep working, you can become successful. Now, through my, my teaching experience in Brock and uh, thought about 7,600 students. They were all great kids. Now, we give them the point that I'm teaching their grandchildren. And it's a great feeling to see that happen through the years. You know, the job we do is not easy. It takes a lot of energy, physically and mentally. You know, we got to put in a lot of effort. 
my channel, keeping everybody happy, keeping everybody, everybody straight, in the right track, you know, with everything going on in the world, you know, we're going to take care of our kids, and make sure that they get what they deserve, they get what they need, and they get what they're supposed to get. Back up this team. Go, go, go! 